A major milestone for the airline industry. 2.56 million passengers were screened by the TSA yesterday, the highest number since December of 2019. However, it was still below post-Thanksgiving travel in 2019, which saw 2.87 million passengers screened on the, th on the Sunday after Thanksgiving. And despite concerns heading into the weekend, delays and cancellations were low, with FlightAware tracking 179 cancellations into and out of the U.S. on Sunday. And Dave, uh, if you miss a flight, you miss a flight. You probably don't care about what everybody else is doing, but that number seems pretty low. Um, just wondering what you were doing over the weekends if you were out shopping, saw anybody traveling or I traveled, else? yes. Yeah. I, I traveled on Thanksgiving and back yesterday, and I will tell you the demand is through the roof, and the difference between now and 2019 is prices are up dramatically. So the question is, is this still revenge travel? Or is it really just a new norm, Jared? And I think it's a new norm. I don't think it is still revenge travel. I think people have just, as you're seeing with remote work, people would rather value being at home. Now they'd rather spend their money on travel, on experience, on doing things rather than on goods. I think we've just got a permanent shift and how people spend. And if you yeah. had a flight canceled, you were on Frontier, you're probably angry this morning because they have done away with their customer service telephone line entirely. It's all got to happen digitally Ooh, now. Not a good look there. Yikes.